Hey, this is Steve Domenico here with Fabio Chirin. We're at a uh, Triforce gym here where we just got done training. But most importantly, this beast right here is going to fight June 17th for Cage Titans, man. Yes, sir. Uh, your last two fights were 185, but you're moving up to 205, fighting Ron Marshall. Uh, damn good fighter who's coming off a, a war himself in, in April 15th. But let's talk a little bit about this uh, this last fight coming off and what you've been doing and how we get one come from this 185 weight to fight this 205 uh, class. Um, uh, it was a tough fight, tough fight. Uh, tough camp, you know, dealing with two some stuff, and uh, had to fight through that, um, you know, tough opponent too, Dave Sheehan, shout out to him, good, good kid, um, gave me a hell of a fight, you know, but I did it at the end of the day, I did what I had to do to win, uh, but after that, you know, just training, uh, finding ways to get better, uh, you know, trying to get to the next, next, next opponent, doing my thing, you know. Excellent, like you're, you're only 22 years old. Sir. You're two and one uh, amateur MMA. Uh, you got the guy, you got the MMA world ahead of you. So coming off this fight, uh, you, like you said, you had a, it was a pretty good battle, uh, a real, real war on the ground, a lot of, a lot of groundwork there. But uh, in the end, you you got on that, I got on his back, choked him out, and we're moving on to uh, June seventeenth, where yes, you're fighting Ron Marshall. Now you're two and one. Your only loss. Is against Ron Marshall, so you you got some uh, redemption and you got some payback coming up now, and that fight was actually your only fight at 205 since you had been an amateur. You fought your last two fights at 185, but you're going back up to 205. What is the reason for this? Because you want to stay at 185 when you you know you get up there in the pros, but you're taking this fight at 205. So what brought this up? Um. When I first started off, I was four months in training, you know, and took the fight. Probably should have waited, you know, but I'm young, dumb, and just wanted to get in there. Yeah. And it was a good fight, you know, and then I just you know I could have done better. I was fighting myself a lot more than I was fighting my opponent. Um, just doing right stuff, doing the wrong things, you know, and it's changed a lot, and I want to prove that. I'm a lot better in that fight. Well, the, 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 the cool thing is about this fight, this is, the 17th is almost exactly a year since that first fight and your debut as an Annie. So we're one year in the making. So you've, you've had two other fights in there, two wins. You're on a two-win streak, two winning streak, two submissions in, that, in them two wins. Now you get to fight Ron Marshall again. Uh, how is that feeling? I know you just described it, but... To actually get to go into that cage a year later with all the experience, because now you you know I don't know if you were cross training back then when you uh Not yeah so no. so you were with Jun, uh, Junko right from the start Lee Brash, and then now you uh, branch off you with Greg Rebello who's you know one of your major training partners and we know all about him you know as a heavyweight so you're training with these all around so you're in <clears throat> city uh, city out town in Boston you're regularly here at Triforce and you're still home based at Junko with Lee Grash. So we're a year later. What what have you felt has got better, and what what, what have you improved that on in a year, and in in your mind and every year? How are you a different fighter from a year ago? I mean, I mean, if you look at the fights, man, I've progressively gotten better. You know, from one fight to the next, just working, working. You know, I've got good coaches behind me, good teammates to help me out. Uh, like like you said yourself, local Lobo himself, he's helped me. A lot, you know, put some time into me. Just got a lot of faith in me, so I just try and do good by him, do my thing, and you know, my teammates, stuff like that. Just uh, change my my um, my workouts. You know, working out a lot more than I was. I wasn't really working out that much. I was just getting into it when I first started, and now that I've been Going through the, through the motion, I'm learning new things and the, what I need to do to get better and just just working, you know. Excellent. Well, you have all these great coaches behind you. A hell of a lot of, you know, pros and the MMA, uh, you know, MMA fighters all around you helping you out. And, you know, you're high on uh, 
you know, on social media, people like, you know, you got a lot of views on the last two fights you had. You're very popular in, you know, in the MMA world because you're an up and coming Miami. And you could fight at 185, 205, but you want it, you know, 185 is your home in, in the future. Mm -hmm. But uh, I wish you luck on this fight. And, uh, anything, any any predictions about this fight, where you want it to go, or you just, you know, it's a year later. Like, what do you want to show off from you? You're coming off a, a, a you know, almost a three-round grind, your last fight, and then you came off with a choke. What do you, what do you want to show off on this fight? Just ready to go, man. I know he's, I know he's, he's been saying this stuff, you know, I'm just shrug it off, but I just hope he's ready. I know I'm ready. Wherever it goes, it goes. Like I said, the last fight, I'll be ready. If he wants to go to the ground, we'll go to the ground. Stand, stand, you know, I'm just I'm ready. I'm, I got my teammates that help me both in both, both, both the ground standing. So, this is, I got the best teammates in New England. You know, spoiled, spoiled, got resources everywhere. And just, you know, I know what I've been working They help you up here, too. They, they, they mold you into something fierce. And uh, you're getting there, buddy. I wish you luck on the 17th, June 17th. Fabio Chirin, 2 and 1, fighting at 205 against Ron Marshall, June 17th, the Cage Titans, uh, Plymouth Memorial Hall, one of my favorite places to go see a fight. That place, they just make it feel like you're in almost like a, a, a club, like uh, like the lights and just the atmosphere is awesome. There, look at the smile on his face. He knows he knows fighting, and this is his fourth fight in that same place, correct? Four fights for Cage Titans, so that is home for you. And Ron's coming in to try to you know. Screw around with that home of yours. So, yeah. all right. Uh, how do we get in touch with you? Last thing on social media, all that good stuff. Just, uh, follow me on Instagram. Just follow my name, Fabio Sharon, or Almighty under dash Fabs. Uh, on my Facebook, just my name. You know. Well, I'll look up Junico because he's all on. You know, he's always training with all these guys. So, uh, I'll see you in a couple of weeks, bro. Good luck. Sure. From Dominico One Hundred and One and Triforce Gym. We out of here. Yes, sir.